Hi guys, welcome to The Things I Think, episode 11. So let's talk about gay TV shows. Because <laughs> if you're gay, there's nothing better than seeing shows about gay people. And when I say gay, I mean lesbian. Number one, the L word. It's kind of a given. And if you don't know about the L word, I'm kind of concerned. You can find the L word on Netflix. And The Fosters. The Fosters is a great show on ABC Family about two lesbians who have all these children adopted and one from a prior marriage. It's it's an amazing show. Fox's Glee. That definitely has gay stuff in it. South of Nowhere, which is what I'm currently obsessing over. There's only three seasons and it was made quite a long time ago. But it's a really good show about these two girls and all of their friends in high school, of course, but it's really based on Spencer, who is a lesbian, and she just is finding out, and it features her coming out and the reaction of her family and how everything just comes together along with other teenage problems, like her brother and his problems and her other brother and her brother's problems, and a lot of problems, but it's focused on the lesbian couple. Lip Service is found on Netflix. It's like two seasons long. And it's good, but there's a point where it just kind of all goes downhill. It's like the British version of The L Word. My girlfriend's a big fan of Skins, and I know that she loves the character Naomi because she named her dog after it. The real L Word is like not fake lesbians. It's a reality TV show. It's based on the actual TV show, The L Word. Oh my god, Orange is the New Black. Amazing. You have to watch it. It's on Netflix. Super gay. <laughs> Orange is the New Black follows girls in a prison and, like, lesbian relationships inside the prison. <laughs> Degrassi, the new generation, definitely has lesbian couples in it. It's not solely focused on lesbians or gays, but it definitely has gay couples and lesbian couples inside of it. And also has a transgender person in uh, the latest cast of Degrassi. And then Pretty Little Liars and Dr. Owen's MD, her best friend in the show, who's also a doctor, is a lesbian. So, there's some of that there. And Once Upon a Time, one of my favorite TV shows, not gay. However, in one of the seasons, I think it's season two or three, season three. Spoiler alert, so if you want to shut this down for a couple seconds, that's fine. Um, Mulan has a crush on Aurora, and she's about to tell her, but then it just doesn't happen. Because <laughs> Aurora's like, oh, I'm pregnant, and then Mulan's like, oh... Good for you, hug. Walk away to you. And I'm just like, she didn't even tell her how she felt. The princesses could have been together. What? And it was a really big moment for me, personally. Mistresses on Hulu is really good. Has a lot of straight couples in it. But there is this gay couple, this lesbian couple. Some really hot scenes. Check it out. Grey's Anatomy has a gay thing happening in it. Coronation Street. I've heard about the show called Lost Girl. A show called Good Wife, The O.C., Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Definitely has a lesbian couple in that one. 90210. That has a gay couple in it. That's all I know of that I can think of at 3.30 a.m. Thanks for watching.